Shaz Shalif Tim, Tuf Shin Pei Gimel. And here we are for one last year in Yerushalayim for this year. Now unless Mashiach comes, and we're hoping he's going to come any minute, and we're not going to have to transfer ourselves back to Chutz Laaretz, but unless that happens uh, next week's year, we'll be back in Bikr Cholim of Lakewood. But for now, we have the special schos to give another shear from Yerushalayim, here HaKodesh. And this week's parsha, Parsha Shoiftim, the Pesach tells us, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdoif, Lema'an Tichyeh, Viorashto Es Ha'oretz. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdoif. So the Targum Unklis tells us that Tzedek, it's a lotion of Emes here. That one should run after, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdoif, that one should run after and pursue the truth. So Nasiva Shalom asks a very obvious question here. It's something that every single one of us should be thinking about. That once something is the truth, how do you, con how do you continue to run after more truth? I mean, if it's true, it's true, and that's it. That's the truth. But Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdoif, run after the truth of the truth. That's sort of, it's a little bit uh, difficult to understand. How does one do more than the truth. I'll quote you Gemara, Gemara Masech the Baba Basra, Dav Chesom Abbey says like this, that the Pasuk of Bahamaskilim Yazhiru Kezoyar Harakia, that Pasuk is referring to a Dayan, a judge, who is done din emes lamitoi, that he he judges, he's done a din, emes lamitoi, once again, the truth of the truth. And so here too, what is emes lamitoi? Once again, once you have the truth, double emes, what's double truth? How exactly does that work? And really, another question that we need to ask is what is so special about a dayan, about a judge, who judges the truth of the truth, the judge who judges even actually the truth. I mean, isn't that actually the job of a judge? Isn't that what a Dayan is supposed to do? So if a Dayan does his job and he, and he seeks out the truth, he gets such a big reward, it should be pretty understood that a Dayan should have to judge truthfully. Otherwise, he's in the wrong profession. He's in the wrong job. Actually, the Gemara Masech the Shabbos, Daf Yudah Meralef, tells us that a Dayan, a judge, who is Dan Din Emes La Amitoi, that he judges truthfully. Now listen to this: a judge who does that, the Gemara Masech the Shabbos says, he becomes a Shutuf to Hakadosh Baruch Hu in Maisa Bereshis, a, a partner with Hashem in Maisa Bereshis. So it sounds like it's a very, very big and high matrega indeed. I mean, to be a partner with HaKadosh Baruch Hu in creating the world, that is a very, very big matrega. So how do we understand this? So Nesiva Shalom explains, explains with the thought from the Torah Sa'avos. And the Torah Sa'avos, and he says the following, you gotta hold on to your thinking caps a little bit here. This is a little bit deep. The Torah Sa'avos tells us that there is a truth that you know in your mind intellectually, that you've come to the decision in your mind that something is the truth and that you reach the truth. But then there is something which is even more than that truth. And what is that? Is the truth that you feel and you know in your heart. And if you think about it, everybody knows that there really is such a thing. Sometimes you think something is the truth and something is the MS, but in your heart you know that something is lacking. But when in your heart you know that you're coming to the real truth, then you really, really feel it. And that's the additional truth. That is the Targum of Kushta, Kushta Tehi Rodif. That's what the Targum says, to run after the truth, that even after you know that something is true in your mind, intellectually, what you ha that's the only the first stage. That's the first stage of truth that you attain that 
uh, truth intellectually. But then we say, the Torah says, don't stop there. Continue to try to attain the truth, the truth that's in your heart also. And when it comes to MS, when it comes to the truth, the Siva Shalom tells us there, there are some things that we have to keep in mind. And he says like this, you know that Hashem desires a place to have a dwelling place here on this world. We've spoken about it when we spoke about the Mishkan. We've spoken about it in different areas and different times. Hashem desires, Hashem wants to have a place of dwelling on this earth. Even though we know, and this world is called the Olam HaSheker. And we all understand why this world is Olam HaSheker. Sometimes the things that you see and you think are good are things that are really truthfully not good. And sometimes when you see that, when you think that somebody or a person is good, it could very well be that they're not. Or sometimes when somebody is, you think that they're not on such a high madrega, really in the worlds above, in the world of Hashem, that person is a tremendous tzaddik. This world is the Olam HaSheker. What you see is not what really is. What you see is not necessarily the truth. Yet, HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to have a dwelling place on this world, on this world, yes, on this world, that we call the Olam HaSheker. Why? Because the purpose in this world is for us, despite this world being the Olam HaSheker, that we need to try and constantly, constantly be working on seeking out the real truth. And we know that the real truth, and when people talk about truth, sometimes in your heart, you know it's not the truth. So therefore the Torah tells us and we're saying what Hashem wants is that in this world where the truth is not always evil, um, you're not always able to easily see the truth, you, our job is to seek out the truth. And what is the truth? The real truth is one truth only, the truth of the Torah. What the Torah wants from us and what the Torah says is right and what the Torah says is the truth, that is the real, the real MS. So when the dying is done, din MS la'amitoi, that he pursues more, he pursues more, and he's he constantly trying to seek out the real truth. The reason he is called such a big madrega as a shutaf, a partner with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is, is because that's why Hashem created the world. Hashem created the world of an Olam HaSheker, Olam Hazer, which is so full, full of things that are not true. Hashem created a world where we're supposed to work and seek out through the Torah, to seek out the truth. That's why Hashem created the world. So a Dayan who goes along those lines and tries to seek out the real truth is called a shutaf, a partner with HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the Maitzah Barashas because he is doing exactly what Hashem set up the world to do and to be. And the, re the reason why the world was created, that in this Olam HaSheker, we should seek out the truth until we actually find it and feel it in our hearts too. And what is the truth? Like we said, one thing only, the way of the Torah. Titain Emes Li'a'akoyim is referring to the Torah. Learning Torah and doing things according to the Torah that brings us closer to Hashem. That brings us to the real MS. See, Vishalom brings a story from the Degel Machne Ephraim in Parshas Mishpatim, an unbelievable story. And he says like this, he says, two people came to a Rav, they came to a Rav for a Din Torah. And the Rav paskined that one person is chayyid to pay the other person money. One person wins a Din Torah, Right? The other person has to, you know, one person has to pay and one person, um, unfortunately, one, one, unfortunately, actually, one person feels that, you know, he has to pay the money. The other person wins the entire and he gets the money. So the person who had to pay comes back to the rub later and he comes over and he says, listen, I have no doubt that the Dayanim always do the right thing. They search out the truth, they seek out the truth, that they are, or they are doing the right thing. He says, but you should know that I happen to know that what the other person said is total baloney. It's totally not true. 
So how is it? How does that jive? How does it come to Dayanam doing the truth when I know for sure this guy made up an entire story that I owe him money? None of it is true. How does that jive in my mind? And the Rav told him the following. He says, I want you to know something. That you and this person exist, existed in a previous life. And you stole from this person. And you came up to Shamayim after 120 years, and they decided that the only way this could be rectified is if you go, both go back down to this world. And there's going to be a Din Torah. And you're going to think that really it's all made up. But in Shamayim, they know what the truth of the truth, what it really is, is that you really owed him the money and everything in this world looks like it doesn't fit. It looks like it doesn't jive. It looks like it's not true. But Hashem has through the Torah that the Torah will eventually bring out the truth. Detain MS Yaakov, the Torah is the Torah's MS, even if we don't understand it. And that's really the lesson of our Parsha, that sometimes we don't understand that a Rav does this and a person does this and this is Das Torah and this is... It doesn't always make sense to us. But it's Tzedek, Tzedek, Tir Doi. The Torah goes through and through more than our, the, our minds intellectually can comprehend. The Torah goes through and through. And if we live a life of Torah, we, we understand that through the Torah and through learning the Torah, we're always going to see the absolute truth. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tir Doif. There's a truth intellectually, but your mind can only reach so far. And then after that, is more of a truth that the Torah brings out when we know it's the truth in our, our heart and when the real truth is actually brought out. And once we're finishing the shir here in Yerushalayim, we should say that we should all be zaycha to come back to this beautiful city. The city, you know, we think so much that we think we live in Lakewood, right? We have wonderful, we have chesed, we have tzedakah, we have Torah, we had everything. But we have to remember that we're still in Golas. This is the place. The place of Yushalayim. This is the garden. This is the backyard of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This is the land that Hashem is seeking out. This is the land that Hashem loves. Which we should understand that that's the real truth. The real truth is that everything that we have over there in Chutz Laaretz is lacking. It's lacking Kedusha Zeretz Yisrael. It's, la it's lacking being close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We should all be Zaycha that Emir Hashem very soon we should all come back to this beautiful city together, together with Mashiach Tzidkenu. Amen.